This is Carrie Wachter with Global Medical News Network, reporting from the 2010 Breast Cancer Symposium in National Harbor, Maryland. The meeting was sponsored by the American Society for Clinical Oncology. We have a small cohort of patients. We're talking about 77 patients, 15 of them with mutations in BRCA. So we have to be, I mean, cautious about how to interpret the data, but it is a very provocative finding to see how patients that have mutations in BRCA have a better outcome. And biologically, they may be explained that these tumors are actually more sensitive to our standard chemotherapies. And maybe our standard chemotherapy is actually the best treatment for them. Maybe we can improve on that. But it's also interesting to know that the other patients mm-hmm. have a worse outcome. So maybe we have to work harder in that other group of patients. So it's kind of like a, a two good hypotheses that we need to start working. I think that that uh, the genetic testing process is a two-step process and I think that uh, we as physicians we should know about these things but also it's important for the patients to go and have appropriate genetic counseling before they get tested so they understand what the implications of having a mutation or not having a mutation are. <clears throat> so I think that our job as physicians is to lower our yield, remember these type of things, discuss with our patients that may be a possibility of a mutation and tell them that it will be good for them to have a conversation with genetic counseling, look at the risk, and if they uh, recommend, get tested. This is Carrie Wachter reporting for Global Medical News Network.